iPadOS 26 doesn't have a lot of updates for Apple Reminders, but Apple Reminders has been updating for a couple of months now before iPadOS 26 came along. So we just thought to group all of this together. The main updates, the big updates to come to Apple Reminders are not at all in any way linked to iPadOS 26. First up, the design. The user interface in Apple Reminders is very beautiful. It feels polished, clean, modern, and easier to navigate. One thing I love is the new sidebar. It's actually more resizable than the one in Apple Notes, which gives you a lot more flexibility. It actually makes a difference, just that tiny little extra millimeters, probably. But I really prefer the much thicker sidebar in Apple Reminders than what we have in Apple Notes. Creating lists and sections is much easier too. Everything just feels more intuitive. Even the little pop-up that appears under the inspection icon has a fresh look. And I'm loving it. And the keyboard toolbar? Apple moved that to the task you focused on, which makes a lot more sense. It keeps the keyboard less cluttered. The icons look much better on the task than they did on the keyboard. Now let's talk about one of the smartest features, automatic sections. Apple Reminders can now create sections for your lists automatically. So if you're someone who struggles to stay organized, Apple Intelligence can step in and help. The feature is really handy when your tasks are kind of all over the place. It'll group things into sections for you that you can easily rename or change if you want to. At least it gives you somewhere to start. That said, it's not perfect yet. If you add new tasks after your sections are already created, it might not handle them as well, but this has dramatically improved with the latest beta, so it's becoming more reliable, which is even more exciting. This is definitely my favorite feature, and it's the one that's not included in iPadOS 26. Apple Notes integration. Say what? Definitely loving this one. You no longer need to drag and drop your notes into Apple Reminders if you want to create to-dos that are linked to Apple Notes. Instead, Apple Reminders can now connect directly to Apple Notes. You can now create your reminders or you can now share your notes from Apple Notes to Reminders if they are typed. Of course, that's the only limitation. The app can extract the to-do title, its notes, and link you back to Apple Notes. Even images in your notes are automatically added to your new tasks. That means no more bouncing back and forth, trying to keep everything in sync. However, at the moment, it's only working with typed notes. Handwritten notes are not yet supported, but I really hope Apple adds handwriting support in a future update. Once though, Maybe it was a bug because we haven't been able to replicate this. But once we did manage to export some type notes that has some handwritten parts as images. So maybe exporting handwritten parts of your notes is supported, but it's still buggy. If that is the case, that is really exciting news indeed. We'll be watching the space. This feels like the most complete version of Apple Reminders yet. Apple Reminders has been worth using for a while now, but now it's just got better, especially with the Apple Notes integration. But we would love to hear from you. Which of these features are you most excited about? If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe for more iPadOS deep dives. And with that, fantastic human, stay fantastic.